Grace to you all this evening and peace from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. Amen. So one of my favorite parts of Christmas always has been, maybe always will be, is gift giving. Uh, I mean, gift receiving. I like getting them better than giving them because that takes too much energy and thought. I love it when somebody gets just the right gift for me. And I remember gifts ever since I was a kid. A little funny frog called an odd og, and you would throw balls at it. It would swallow them up, and then you'd get all the balls and throw them back. So my cousin got the same gift, and then I didn't think it was so special or unique. But it was fun at the time. And I remember gifts like rock'em, sock'em, robots, and other things. I don't have any of them anymore. They all broke. Or we gave them away. That's the kind of way it is with gifts. Except those gifts that you can't hold on to so well, right? Those other kind of gifts, like... Family, love, friendship, good news, all those wonderful things that we really look forward to. And tonight, we're celebrating not receiving as much as the one who gives. We're celebrating the wonderful gifts that God gives to us as God's children all the time. And we're reminded of those words that appeared in our call to worship from the book of James. Every good and every perfect gift comes from above, coming down from the Father of lights. Every good gift you have ever received can trace its origin back to God. And you ever hear that saying that we use sometimes, the best gifts come in small packages? It's true, isn't it? I think the person who came up with that probably received some jewelry or something very expensive that came in a small package, right? But it's also a good way to describe Christmas, isn't it? The best gifts come in small packages. The Almighty God, the creator of everything that is, the one who loves you dearly, in a small package, a baby. Is there a more beautiful gift? If so, I don't know what it is. A baby who grew up to remind us that we are worthy of the gifts that God gives us, that we are worthy of those gifts that are not so concrete, but so meaningful. Gifts of love, hope, joy. But I won't tell you the whole story because that's what our kids are here for. They're gonna tell you the story. I just want to let you know that their presentation is inspired by a hymn that Martin Luther wrote 500 years ago to teach his own children some things. The original song was based on a secular singing song of Luther's time, as were most of the hymns that Luther wrote. That original song went like this. Good news from far abroad I bring, glad tidings for you all I sing. I bring you so much you'd like to know, much more than I shall tell you though. It kind of kept you guessing, kept you wondering. But at the end of each verse, the singer would propose a riddle, and then the kids would have to solve what the riddle was. So I want you to listen carefully as our kids tell us the story tonight. Through songs, riddles, and the truth of God's word, we're going to hear about this wonderful gift that God gives. Born in Bethlehem, laid in a manger, our Savior Jesus. Okay, over to you. 